I think there are three good points about Vindictus. Firstly, it shows fantastic action and gorgeous graphics. Secondly, we've got beautiful female characters, so that's why it's very popular with male users. Lastly, users can experience realistic action. Now Vindictus is running very well the majority of the time. We introduced the client optimizing software, so it's very pleasant to play Vindictus. Actually, our game is based on a peer-to-peer -peer networking game, so we need to develop a networking area to run the game correctly with various routers. We started public beta service in March 2009, but we encountered a networking problem in January. At that time, we were really in a panic. Luckily, we got some information about ProudNet that we applied to our system in February. After that, all problems disappeared within a week, and it was really easy to use. Also, no problems have occurred since. So ProudNet was really helpful for us. I really want to recommend ProudNet to other developers who develop games within a peer-to-peer -peer networking system. As a mobile action RPG game, Touch Monsters will be the most spectacular game, which can be played only on your cell phone. Since its launch in August 2013, this game, Touch Monsters, has been creating the greatest profit in the mobile gaming industry in Korea. Only a month before the launch of Touch Monsters, I was asked to add a chat room and a player versus player matching service to the game. So I created them using ProudNet in just two weeks. The lectures were easy to follow, and I loved the Korean subtitles, which has helped me understand the contents of the lectures better. After the launch of the game, it seemed that everyone was playing it all together. We had never expected this kind of result, and thus I had to quickly deal with the many issues and problems. It was a chaotic time. However, I was relieved, on the other hand, that I had nothing to be worried about with the socket engine of ProudNet. In addition, thanks to Mr. Hyunjik Bae, the president of NetEngine, who has always been willing to work on the problems with me, I was able to survive those tough times and finally created a server to support about 60,000 players per machine. Currently, the service is operating satisfactorily. In this mobile action multiplay online designed based on a strong story, you take off for adventures to find the one and only truth hidden in the Delphinia continent with a knight, a wizard, and a gunner, three characters with the most interesting personalities. You will be amazed by the well-developed scenario and events consisting of more than 200 fields and 100 dungeons while falling in love with the most attractive features of this game. Delphinia Chronicle has an interface optimized for smartphones and boasts beautiful graphics. In Delphinia Chronicle, you can meet many players of the game through On Net Zone. You may consider this place as a public square where users can show off their costumes. In addition, while joining auctions, drawing lots, and checking mailboxes, you can exchange items with others. You can also have a great time with friends playing the Quick Dungeon. Delphinia Chronicle is a mobile action multiplay online, which requires a mobile network engine. First, we wanted this engine to support both the mobile and the PC. Second, we wanted the performance and stability of the engine to be verified. Third, our developers should feel no discomfort while using the engine. Fourth, we wanted technical support to be flawless but also sustainable. After the test, ProudNet was considered to satisfy all the requirements mentioned above, and we were very happy with the results. As far as we can see, this engine, ProudNet, has been quickly evolving while coping with needs of developers and changes of environment. We will always choose the ProudNet engine to provide users with a chance to have a good time playing our games, which are both exciting and fascinating. Game 
server and network engine for stability. Proudnet.